I'm Gordon Bailey from Academia Roofing and Attics. My industry is largely unregulated, so today I'm going to be taking you through a checklist of items you should keep in mind before you hire someone for the job. When a prospective roofer comes to your house, don't hire him if he has not looked in your attic. Why a good roofer will look in your attic is he wants to see that there's adequate ventilation, adequate insulation. He wa they want to see that the bathroom fans are actually hooked up and venting properly. I want to see if there's been any issues of condensation or mold that can now be addressed while the new roof is being installed. Water stains that might be evident in your soffits, on your walls, on your ceilings, on the interior of the home are a clear telltale sign that there is an issue that needs to be resolved to prevent any issues of future mold or condensation. If you have any signs of mold in your attic, a good roofer will definitely make you aware of it, definitely find a solution to addressing the mold, and definitely find a solution to ensure that when the mold is dealt with that it's not going to come back again. If you need new eavesdropping or gutters, please do not change them until you've replaced the roof. Do not do it backwards. Uh, do not be talked into doing it backwards. Always do your roof first and then your gutters because then they'll be picture perfect. Expertise is key. All projects need a strong leader. Their role is to educate, train, coordinate and facilitate the project. Each stage has to be reviewed, checked by the leader on the site. Every good company also has a metal expert on staff or a relationship with a good metal expert to complete the entire project. The metal expert does all the flashings on, on the job, also works in the shop. Uh, a good metal expert is the backbone of most companies because it actually makes a really good quality job 100% finished. Murphy was a contractor, so Murphy's Law, anything that can go wrong will go wrong. It applies to this industry. So ask your contractor for references of clients that were unhappy with the project that became happy. It's not how you start the counts, but how you finish. And let's see how they finished. Good luck with your new roof.